The new report on New Jersey's municipal courts wouldn't surprise many people who've gotten ticketed and ended up before the judge somewhere in Jersey. They often tell similar stories about how fines and fees piled up and how they felt set up. It feels like a mob mentality. What do you mean? Uh, like they're, they're just trying to get the most out of us. Set your watch by when they're going to look to make their revenue through uh, fines and traffic uh, violations. There are municipal uh, officials out there, there are municipal judges out there who freely brag about how much money they generate. Senator Declan O'Scanlan hailed the report commissioned by New Jersey Supreme Court that states municipal court practices at times have more to do with generating revenue than the fair administration of justice. It notes municipal courts processed six million cases and raked in $400 million just last year, with more than half of that money going to the municipalities. And municipalities have uh, come to rely on this revenue uh, to balance their budgets. That's not what it's there for. I think the overarching sentiment in this report is that fairness to litigants, not a quest for revenue, ought to be the driving principle of our municipal court system. In my opinion, it represents probably one of the most comprehensive set of reforms we have seen in this area in memory. Former Supreme Court Justice Peter Venero says the report cited examples where judges tacked on court costs and mandated state surcharges or used bench warrants and license suspensions, all of which jacked up final costs to litigants. In one example, a $130 fine for failure to get a car inspected in the end topped $1,500 after the driver's license was suspended for non-payment. He didn't have the money, then got caught driving to work with a license. And because of the system and the built-in penalty enhancements, that small amount turns into a quite large amount or could actually lead to imprisonment without any determination of the litigant's ability to pay. It's certainly a, a social justice issue. Uh, the people most victimized by these policies uh, are the poor uh, and the working middle class who or paycheck to paycheck. Recommended reforms include basing fines on fairness and ability to pay, not revenues generated, appointing and evaluating judges by objective standards, setting guidelines to prevent overuse of contempt sanctions and license suspensions, limiting the issuance of bench warrants to serious offenses, and merging some of New Jersey's 515 municipal courts. Both Governor Murphy and Senate President Steve Sweeney welcomed the report and promised to review it, but New Jersey's legal of municipalities disagrees with the report's premise, blames state surcharges for exorbitant fines, and urges extensive discussion before any changes are made to the municipal court system. As a system, uh, it's important that it be carefully and, and really fairly reviewed um, in all its parts and pieces. So characterizing the municipal courts as, as ATMs is, is both unfair and really not uh, reflective of, of reality. Chief Justice Stuart Rabner's already issued an order that caps certain fines municipal judges can impose. Judiciary is also looking for comments from the public. It's likely to get an earful. In Holmdel, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.